Hold on. Xbox, y'all really think y'all got the better console? Let me do the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You don't even got 12 fingers, bro. 10 is obviously the better number, boy. Oh, oh but we have a terrible Reggie Fisa, man! OB1 plays? That's right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? started give the video a thumbs up man right now we're about to hit you with the heat we got another xbox exclusive coming to the nintendo switch we're going to talk about another controller hits the gaming market i'm not even talking about the dual sense and nintendo has issued a major warning to switch fans but the first news before we get into everything what this microsoft executive talking about bro microsoft executive um bill stillwell uh, william stillwell he has sounded off on the console wars he has said something very interesting that might throw some fans in a tizzy fit that's what he says, and I quote, So just like inside Xbox, <laughs> I think sometimes, I think sometimes has the problem of the audience expectations don't match where the content plans are. I think what you saw was an unfortunate byproduct of a GDC talk being turned into a marketing event. He's talking about the Sony uh, PlayStation 5 reveal that was originally a GDC talk but ended up being a marketing event and that was all Sony's fault they tweeted it out on the official PlayStation blog got fans hyped and it was really supposed to be a GDC event video <laughs> that should have been uploaded to PlayStation's website with no fanfare here it is and this but this is what he says about the Xbox console he says I love Sony's talk I think they've got some cool tech. He's like, it's cool. I personally think we're going to have a better console, period. And then he says, I'm not worried about the power narrative. So he just says, we have the better box. But just look at this, bro. They got a tower. PlayStation got nothing because they show us nothing. <laughs> but he's saying that. Just based on all of the specs that Sony's revealed that Microsoft has the better console. And he said he's not worried about the power narrative. Why? Because ever since Sony revealed the PlayStation Jive, I mean 5, bro, fanboys have been trying to spin it, bro. They've We've just been spinning it, bro. It's not about the just number 10, bro. You got to think of the audio, bro. We got better audio, bro. And <laughs> it's not about the 10, bro. We got faster, a faster SSD, bro. They're just trying to spin it. The reality of it is, from top to bottom, um, the Xbox Series X is just hands down the better console. You can't spin it, bro. Numbers don't lie, bro. This is a factual statement, bro. 12 is greater than 10. XCOM gang. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> All right. And so I thought it was interesting. He just said, man, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> he labeled um, Sony's um, reveal unfortunate. <laughs> hey, he labeled it unfortunate. And bro, it's not good when you start your press event with the word unfortunately. <laughs> That's, go back and watch the Sony press event. Uh, he, he started off with the word unfortunately and I thought something was wrong like oh y'all not going to reveal it anymore but he said talking about how uh, GDC was cancelled and all that but that's not how you start your event bro not a good look with the word unfortunate alright 
next news item. And I should have talked about this a couple days ago, but remember how I said in a previous video, Microsoft, Phil Spencer's like, we don't want y'all to keep guessing whether or not a game that's coming out on Xbox will eventually come over to the Switch. And so, <laughs> I told y'all, ain't no more Xbox exclusives coming over to the Switch. <laughs> Except this one. <laughs> Vigor! Vigor, nah, nah. For this, they're gonna end out this generation. Still a couple more games like, uh, we might get the, the Cuphead DLC is gonna come over to the Nintendo Switch. I think that's already confirmed. Minecraft Dungeon coming over to the Switch. But, I think with the Xbox, from the launch of the Xbox Series X going forward, you're gonna see le less, less Xbox exclusives coming to the Switch. But, Vigor, Vigor, um, there is currently, there was a closed beta for the Nintendo Switch, so the game is already up and running on the Switch. This is a survival looter shooter type game. It, it launched about seven months ago uh, on the Xbox One, and looks like a Switch version is coming. Now, it's sort of a battle royale. In that you're play, you're dropped in the map PvP, but it's a little different. This one is more about surviving, not winning. Who's the last man standing? It's a more about surviving, getting the loot you need, surviving, and 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 leaving the map. And so, a vigor, vigor, vigor is right now available for um, the beta. It was a beta. We don't know when it's gonna actually launch. But the game is slated to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. And the next news item, bro. Another controller is about to enter the market. That's right, boy. You thought Valve was done? Well, according to a new, uh, Twitter user, Tyler McVicker. This isn't just th uh, some random dude. Um... He, he is um, spotted by Valve's News Network. Um, he's He works for Valve News Network. Tyler McVicker. A new patent has been published from Valve of a Steam controller. And what's interesting about this is it's going to have swappable components. What do I mean? Best controller on the market right now. Xbox Series X. Huh? I don't like this D-pad. Boop! I could pop it off, and you know what I could do? I could put in a different D-pad. And so, in the same way, um, you could swap parts on the um, on the Xbox um, controller. You're gonna be able to do to do the same thing uh, with the Valve Sync. I never saw the the why those big circles, bro. I know they're like touch pads. Wow! Ah, ah, I hope those are swappable. But new controller about to drop. And the last news item for this video, bro. Are you quarantined up? Worried about catching the coronavirus by touching your Switch Joy Cons? Well, Nintendo has issued a warning. Do not clean your Joy Cons with alcohol. Nintendo is saying that um, alcohol can cause the plastic parts to fade in color and also deform. So, Nintendo says do not clean your Joy-Cons and alcohol, bro. Just rub it with some water, bro. Some light soap. I don't know if you can use soap, but water safe. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait.
there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.